want to speak a little bit term, Parshas Barashas, Tav Shenayin Tess, Al Kesatayro here, Brooklyn, New York. I want to speak a few, two very interesting, uh, you say this, we can take out from the parasha. Pasuk says, Hashem tells Adam, he puts him in the Gan Eden, and he tells him very clearly, he says, Mikol eight hundred. It's how Hashem came out of Adam. He commands Adam telling him, Mikol is a gun of the He can do whatever he wants with eight hundred. But me eight hundred toiv ara, the tree that gives off the knowledge of good and bad, I say to him, and 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 Chas Hashem will be eaten. The question is, which is the most obvious question. I want to say what this is we're speaking today. Um, um, mainly, so this from my Rebbe, the Mirror Shashira, Shmuel Mirror, and Zechaz Al Kosher, Rachas Kusen in Aleinu. And he asked the following obvious question, which the whole of us should ask. He says the most basic bakosha that Yid always has is for dots, for knowledge, right? The first brach we say in Shemayin Esrei, after the opening three brachas, the first bakosha we make is Atachon Adam Das, Alam Nashmir Chaneinu, give us Das, Baruch Atah Hashem Chaneinu Das, give us knowledge. I wrote the Gemara in, in Masech and Adarim, the Gemara says, that he says, if you're kind of knowledge, you're missing in nothing. If you don't, if you're not kind, if you don't acquire knowledge, whatever you have is not, you have nothing, right? Okay, we're famous a wedding song now, right? If you have knowledge of everything, real knowledge of nothing. The whole truth in the other one, an animal and a person is knowledge. Das. Right? We say we put on the tunnel, Rasif Munavi Das is Hashem. So how could it be if you have a chance to eat from a tree that can help you have knowledge to know Toivara? Why should the Torah forbid that for? The opposite, that should be the first tree you want to eat. I mean, everything else you could eat. The Khwaish trees, the Khwaish, I don't know, uh, apples, oranges, the grape, everything else you can eat, but not eat a das. That should be the first we should eat. Toivara, that's the whole essence of 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 of, of human being, right? Toivara. What's the problem with us? Pill from the kasha. Major question. Rabbi said he said a chaim as follows. The boy said, "Listen well." He answered and explained. He says, "Hakadosh Baruch Hu tells us on the Torah, more than once." We get Pashas Rei, for example. It says Rei. Hashem says, I've given you life and good and chasushol, Right? You should choose life. The mitzvahs of the Torah, what's right and what's wrong, is all the knowledge of Hashem. It's the Das of Hashem. Hashem is the one who in his infinite, infinite wisdom decided and knows what's Chaim and Toivim Moms and Rashi says like a, like a person, like a father tells his son, Bukhartha Bukhaim, trust me, I'm giving you good advice. Pick what I tell you to pick, right? He gives him good advice. Hashem tells Bukhartha Bukhaim. The whole Torah and all the Tariq mitzvahs is built on the knowledge of Hashem. It's all the knowledge of Hashem. Of how to live our lives. What is good and what is bad, what is evil, what to stay away from, and what is life, what is your only after. For a side, the problem is that we are too small in our human intelligence to properly understand what is toiv or what is ra. We have only to follow the Torah. We can't understand. Some it is a mamash a chayk, the chal can understand, the mishan can understand why a paraduma is an entire person. Right? Why is it if you touch a dead mouse, you become tummy? You get sprinkled with Ezra Paraduma, you become tar. So they want. Why is why? Do we know why? Hashem said that's what it works. And that's what it is. And that is Chaim and Toiv and it's Mavis and Ra. Why is it that Allah you see, Marshall, and just, just to go a little bit deeper, you see better guy, Hitler, Yamash Mavis Zichra, one of the things he wrote about in his Rishis Dicker book was very against circumcision, right? To him, circumcision is a very uh, cruel thing. Take an eight-day-old child, cut the child, Mila, Priya, right? He, he uh, aborted. He felt disgusted by it. 
and even till today, many countries in Europe disallow shechita. They're saying shechita is cruel. Denmark, this place, that place, Belgium, here, there, in Poland, 19, in the 1930s, and they voted can't do shechita. Shechita is cruel to an animal. Rabbi say, who defines what is toivo? Hashem Torah says that if you want to eat an animal, you have to shech the meat. Hashem says that's toiv. That's a mitzvah, right? You have to shech the meat. All the things are wrong. You have to stay away from. There's halachas. Interest. Why can't you charge interest for? It's not money. You gotta make money. Money costs money. Torah warns us about interest. Stay far away from it. Also, Gamor. The guy you should charge. Who made the halachas? Who decided good and bad? It's only the Rabbi Shema. And we are too small for that. We are too small on our own to make decisions of what's good and bad. We have only the Torah to follow. Rabbi said, all the downfalls in history came from people who started movements, whether it was reformism, whether it was um, communism, whether it started with the, with the Zionism, whether it referred to the, um, uh, what do you call it, um, uh, the Bundism, all the isms that were Machri, Rahman, Tzlan, Taras, and all started from people that thought they know on their own what's toif and what's right. And they made their own ideas of how we should live and what we should do, what part of we should keep, what part of the we should not keep. And they decided decisions about kashrus, about tefillah, about harasim shpach Hashem Yerachim. You see? person has to realize what I say. We're in this world, massive and nishma, to do what Hashem tells us to do. We're not here to decide what's right and what's wrong, what's good and what's wrong. It's not that Rabbi Shalom can decide. We're too small to know that. The same woman who runs on an expedition to Antarctica to try to save dolphins that are going stuck in the ice. And she runs there to try to help dolphins. She aborts a child. On the way there, she aborts a child. She does murder. Because in her small wisdom, she figures that abortion is okay. Child's not born yet, it's fine. Tur says it's murder. But her it's not. Understand? But to save a dolphin, she says, that's time. It's interesting how warped a person's mind can be when it doesn't go to Torah. It's a famous story they said over. In World War II, there's this Jew who said over the Mice, he was one of that the death march is Chumon at the end of the war. And one Jew was able to sneak away from the march and he hid inside a shed. And Hashem made a big miracle that two big dogs stood in front of the shed, barking and blocking him, that the Germans shouldn't find him. So one German says to another, we gotta check if the Jew is inside the shed. They're trying to kill any Jew they can. So Owen said, we can't because his dog's barking. It's dangerous. Owen says, why don't we shoot the dogs? Owen says, you can't kill the dog's innocent. Why would you kill a dog for? The dog's innocent, why do you kill a dog for? The Jew, okay, but the dog not. They say Germany had many cats and dog societies. But to kill a million and a half children among six million people was fine. That is, it was fine. Person has to realize the Torah was given to do. Hashem says, Trust me, I'm giving you Chaim and Torah and Mamas and Ra. Don't eat from the Eitz Adas to try to know on your own Torah because you can't. It's beyond your capabilities and intellectual abilities. You wish I'm out to know all the myths is what they meant. Yes, the Ram writes, and look as to what Ram does write, we try to figure out our own time. Yeah, mitzvahs. You know, why you shouldn't eat the first three years the fruit of Arla? The fruit's not so healthy yet. Tree's not so healthy. We go through different trees. Try our own to make the ball of a town, make the ball of a schmack when we do the mitzvahs. But that's not because we're trying to get to the etzim reason. The etzim toy for Ram is only Hashem's decision. And it's our job to do it. That's what we heard. So the Hashem offered us a Torah. What did we say? Nasev and Nishma. We didn't say first Nishma, but Nasev and Nasev. We're going to do it. Tell us what we're doing. That's it. Hashem said to do it. That's what we got to do. The Goyim said, Maxiv. The Goyim says, No, no, no. Tell us what it says first. It says, don't kill, be shmol, don't steal, don't do neof, don't be promiscuous. I don't know if I can do it. I don't agree to. I, I, I don't think that's such a bad thing. I think killing is okay. And they stay forever lost. Understand? They're forever gone. I fear my opponent says the Gemara in the Sechta with the Zohar Hashem in the beginning, Hashem was in the Masi al Kol, almost over the Mitzvah. But they were smart. They wanted to know Nasa Vedishma. They stayed with Says the Quran of Sechta Chulin, 
Haman and Atayr Minayin. How do you know that the word the Haman and the Torah? A Rebbe is Haman and Torah. Says the Gemara, Hamin Ha'itz. This word Haman. Hamin Ha'itz. Asher Tzivi Sicha Levilti Achal Min Wachata. Had you eaten from the tree. That's Haman. So where's the Kasha? Where's Haman from the Yitzhak Das? I mean, it's the same letter, Tehim and Nun. But this is not Chasu Shal, a crossword puzzle. We're trying to find, you know, three letters, the match. What is the Ben Shemir on Sar Sinai? The answer is, who was Haman? He was Amalek. Who's Amalek? Eshel Yari Lekim. Doesn't fear Hashem. He's smarter than Hashem, he thinks. What did Haman do? He wants to kill every Jew. La Hashmid, La Hareg, La Habed, Anoshim, Noshim, Metapi, Yoim, Echor, Shlom, Lavois. Are you normal? Why? Because we're heading back down to me, says. Right? He wants to kill Am Are you normal? An entire nation? And how many people did them by then? You want to wipe out on one day because you feel they weren't properly respected? Yeah! It wasn't even nervous! He wouldn't have the guilty conscience. He decided his knowledge that that's time. It's a mitzvah to kill the Jews, he says. He says, yeah, give it to that, no problem. Sat down to drink, relax. That's how much they said us. Because he figures, I want to eat us. I want to make my own decisions on what's type and what's wrong. He didn't realize how small the human brain is. It's great, but not big enough to know Taifa Murah. That the Rabbi Shalom knows. The Rabbi Shalom knows what it means, what you got to do, what's Kabri Sivicha Vasinacha. Understand what it means, Shalom Hakain. What it means that there's a mitzvah, Shalom Samaisris. What it means is a mitzvah, Yamati Dens Choroi. And what that Vayrasa. It's a, for a person to go ahead. Chol Shabbos. I said, why not? And the guy says to me, the guy says, he just wants to relax on Shabbos. He likes to put on music to relax. He says, why is the malacha for? So you should better walk up 20 flights of stairs to the apartment in Manhattan, the press, the elevator button was. He says, what's more work? He says, to work 20 flights? To walk 20 flights? What the press about? Right? You're too small to know what it is. Hashem decides what is a malacha and what is not. Walk is not a malacha. But pressing a button is. You understand? That's the knowledge of the Torah. Putting on music is not any Shabbos. It's Kul Shabbos. Seeing as mirrors by Shabbos, they have lots of any Shabbos. Your job in life is to do, not to want to know. Yeah, you can try to understand on your own. I'm saying that the Chinnah tries to, the Rambam tries to, you can try to understand reasons to make it more sweet and more simple, more gishmak. But the etzim decisions, like we said before, the Paraduma is Matayr. The Asian Padu is Matayr. The dead chariot is Matama. The dead lizard is Matama. That's a Tas of Hashem. That's not your knowledge. A woman, the Mitzvah's Taras of Mishpacha, Mitzvah's of Brismila, these are Mitzvah's of the Tayr. This is Hashem, this is Vyadas is Hashem. Our job is Nasa and Nishma. That's why a Tayr, first Mitzvah of the Tayr is to have the Tayr to keep it, to listen to it. The whole Tayr. Was create, the whole world was created from the third. But it's the rise of our alma. The whole t- the whole world is only comes out from the Torah. It's from the Torah. It's Meshuga for the Torah. The Torah came before the Bria. Understand? That's our job here as well. Our job is to do. Shabbat Shalom Lasses. That's what the Torah is also. I mean, to, to know even the Eitz is also. Our job is to do. I want to add on. That could be why. The Gemara says that even though in Harsin Hashem had the forces, they put the mouth on top of our head, but in Kabul Torah Be'ava, when? I'm poor. It says, Kimu V'Kiblu, Kimu Ma'ashe Kiblu Far. You understand? He says, um, uh, Kimu Kimu, he says, when Kabul Torah Be'ava on Purim. What's the Lachan Purim is? You can't do it. You have to drink Adelo Yoda. Adelo Yoda. Because the real Kabbalah Satayra of Purim comes. You don't have to have knowledge, forget it. You don't have to have the dates of us. Adelo Yoda! You go out of your, above your das. Hashem, I love you. Hashem, who have been you, who have you, I love you. I want to do your rotsa. I know this is what's best for me. And this is what's best for the Nitzchis. Rotsa, the Kosh Baruch Hu, Zaka says Yisrael, give it to everyone, just Zaka, just to make it good for us. The Torah of Lona Kali Yama says the Apostle, right in the Pasha Rez Chana. So give it to her for. And we believe it. Hashem only gave it to her, just as Zaka says Yisrael. The Toy Vlano. That's why I'm doing it. Understand? That's his side of the Eitz Adas. The Eitz Adas. The 
Tama. We are, Shem says, like a father to a son. I'm giving you a chayim as a toy, a chayim a chayim. Nothing more to ask about. All you gotta do is do. Was there one more point, just a very side, just quickly, and that is that by um, uh, when Kain uh, and Hevel get into this big, Kain and Hevel are about to be a car, but both being a carbon. And obviously, Kain brings a very cheap carbon. He couldn't pile up the money so fast. Even though, I mean, trust me, Kain was not the, exactly um, uh, a poor guy, you understand? Kain was far from poor, but he owned actually um, uh, half the world, rather than most him and Hevel split the world. But he couldn't take the meaning of the carbon. Hevel brought it, Hevel brought the chelbehen, the fat, the ramos are from over there. They're supposed to bring the chel, the Hashem, bring Hashem the fat, the best. But Kain, he just couldn't part. He just gave Hashem. Hashem would pierce the Kain, it tells Kain. Why are you depressed? Lama chal chalon for nether. Give me better carbon. You know what I want from you. I don't want, Hashem, like it says in Marim, in Sukkot, the Lama brings that. Hashem says, You bring me that, said Gazel, that said Pisef, that said Ira, don't bring me your, your lame. And 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 then and then crippled animals. Where's where's covered a tire? Come for money, Shalom. Just give a little chel. The Shem says the Ram. Give Hashem the best. Shalom's kind. You can solve the issue. What are you getting depressed? What are you getting sad for? What does Kain do? He goes and kills his brother. Rabbi asks, Why did you kill your brother for? Stick your hand in your pocket and take out a couple hundred dollar bills. Give Hashem what he's supposed to give. Hashem comes to you. Hashem gives you Muslim person. Imagine that. Hashem comes to you. Hashem gives you chizik. Hashem gave him Muslim. Hashem told him what to do. And Taitiv says, you can do good, you can be Masakin. Where you coming from? What's going on here? Tell him Akash, what's going on? Maybe he says a story to answer it. I'll be marking him in a second. Once went over to a guy, and they said to him, the guy was a fabulously wealthy guy, but so stingy. They told him, no, your brother is married off a child. He needs money. Why should the community have to collect for him? When you're his brother, you got so much money, give him a check. The guy burst out crying. I'm not joking. He says, I'm going to the story. He says, he says, he says, listen, he says, I know, I know I should help my brother. I know, I know what he needs. I know he's such a good guy. I just can't write a check. He said, what do you want from me? I can't borrow the money. You know, I just can't. They say a joke that says, um, uh, for equally through my says, take from the church. One day, for you do, you should give. Some people just can't give. The guy says, you know what? <laughs> take the money out of my pocket. I just, I just can't release it. I, I can't like it. I can't. You take it out. Right? Her voice said, Kain knew what he had to do. But he couldn't do it because of his stinginess. And what does stinginess lead him to? It lead him to killing his brother. Out of jealousy. Don't kind of listen to this to us. I'm beginning to tell you. How the chemness her mom and time is a moment can destroy a person, can destroy a family, can destroy Shalom bias, can destroy a person's future. Chas Shalom is Nitzki, Shalom Hazlom, Haba, like like a Shalom Alf Ratzik Kehelis. There's riches that is that a Shalom a roll of all of Chas Shalom. The guy can't follow the dolly, can't give, he can't this. They say for himself, a lady never. She died of malnutrition. She was a multimillionaire, but she couldn't take a dollar out of her pocket. That's what happened with Kain, and the murder came out of it. It's a beautiful, beautiful. Rabbi used to always say, beginning of Parashat Tzah, Shem tells Aaron to go ahead and bring the Karbonis, right? He tells him, Tzah was Aaron, and always supposed to bring the Karbon oil. Oil gets completely burned to Hashem. So you, 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 the coin doesn't really get much out of it, besides the skin. So you have to, so Rash is, why it's Tzah? One guy do something, you should talk to him in one nice way. You know, please, he wants something to give you a ride, right? He's not an Uber driver, he's your friend. Tell him, listen, can you please do me a favor? I know you live over there, but can you just go a couple blocks the way? I gotta, I gotta go to a wedding, I gotta make it quickly. Or you go there, I command you! Get in the car and drive me! All right, listen, just do me a favor, I'm not your slave, right? So what's Hashem going, what's he commanding on? Say, Dab Hashem, Moshe, Lema, Dab El Aaron, or Ever El Aaron, what's Tzav Es Aaron? Says Rashi, Tzav is a Lushim Zerus. The Torah has to be desirous, has to push you, has to command you. It costs money. To an Aaron, a coin here, as Aaron, as Bon of Lamar, a Toma to an avoid of Mesa Mikdash. Our boys, the coin Hanan, Gedolim are not poor. The Gemara says, the coin of Nechab got lame, Shalech, Mr. Chiv, a coin got to be rich, and was rich, you have to make him rich. Aaron was not tied on money. He 
was living on a, he wasn't living on a tight budget. But yet, if it costs money, you have to work on yourself. You have to work on yourself because there's a time and a chemin a moment that a guy can't give. The guy can't give a shem in bazaar, even for kapanas, even aren't kind. The shivis love say, one guy do you a favor. Always offer him to pay the tafia. Yeah. Always offer the gears and tolls. He says, no matter who it is, my what it is, he says. Because at the end of the day, he says, can I get all the chishmanis in the world? He's still thinking back of his head. You know, it's still going to cost me 50 You want to go for your lake? It's still going to cost me $50, gears and tolls. It's still in the back of his head, he says. Give him the gears and tolls. Take it off the table. Make things easy for him. I want to just bring one more raya. One beautiful gemara. Marva Sechta of Edizara says, beginning of Edizara, give him a He says, that the Mashiach comes, and the Gohim are going to say, oh my gosh, what a pure you missed, the Yidam Yizekha, the Netach Nitzachim, the Nitzchiyas, and the Gohim are going to be finished. They come to Hashem, and they say, give us another chance. Hashem says, you had a chance. <laughs> you know, like, after they pick out the Havdol, the Powerball winners, you know, the, the $500 million winner, and the guy says, can I have one more chance? I want to I want to pick those, you want to pick those numbers. It's too late. No one's already picked. What do you mean now? Now, now when you see, now there's an assignment to keep, to keep time of business. Now when Mashiach is dead, everyone sees that Shem will like him. Now you want to do it? So go ahead and tell Shem, what do you mean? You, you didn't put the hard kicking yourself right ahead. Get to Shem says, the Messiah says, Shem says, I offered it to you. You didn't want it. Come on, and say, come, Hashem doesn't want to argue with the Briyas, but Betrun, Allah Hashem wants to argue with the Briyas. So Hashem says, no, I'll give you another chance. Fine, no problem. I'll give you one mitzvah. A mitzvah kala. Make a sukkah. They're going to make a sukkah. It's going to be very hot. What are they going to do? Kick down the sukkah. Says, tomorrow, I mean, they're right to leave the sukkah. They might start the potter. It's too hot in the potter. Because he says, they're not kicking it down. They kicked it down, disrespected the sukkah, like Esau. If even there's a, a, a chayra, Hashem is going to laugh. That's the first time I've heard. I mean, Hashem is going to laugh and say, You guys are doomed forever. You guys are finished. You had a chance. He says, Why is it called Mitzvah Kala for? Because sukkah has no chasar and kiss. It doesn't cost money. Unless you buy the fancy sukkahs today, the cost of me sukkahs. We're talking about, you know, the, in the old days, like uh, my father, those old days, you know, grew up in the Lower East Side. You needed schach, you took, they got branches from somewhere, and they put branches on the, on the roof. It doesn't cost money, sukkah, right? So does Garmi Yekev. You take any leftover branches and you put on your sukkah. That's your sukkah. The sukkah is Hashem Maschach. Well, make yourself fancy walls. That's your business. So Hashem gives them a mitzvah. Kala. What's kala? doesn't cost money. Eimach Sankis. You think this over by saying. Here the goyim are facing doomsday. That's it. They're gone forever. And a chance to be zoichet to nitzchis. Hashem says with one mitzvah, you're going to be included in, in who knows what. You're going to be included in all of Abba and Ganeidah and Nitzchias and Tchias Abbasim. Who knows what? Says the Gemara. If it would have been, that's the Boris Mashman. If it would have been an expensive mitzvah. Everybody be a carbon oil. $950,000 guy. That would have been too good of an assignment. They would have said, you know what? They'd rather be lost forever. That's a death. Yeah. You, you left, but don't live. It would be too good of an assignment. Hashem had to give them for that one Last chance that one mitzvah to give you nitzchis, it had to be a mitzvah that has no chazar kiss, that doesn't cost no money. Imagine what he's saying. They won't say it's that guy, a very cheap guy. They said that the wine on his deathbed, 98 years old. They said that you still have a, do you still like, do you still have a hunger for money, a chemist, a moment. The guy said, yeah, he said, it never ends. He said, if you can get a hold of some cash now, he'd still. He'd still stick it on his pillow. <laughs> I don't know. Stick it on this pillow, he says. And by say, you have to realize the Yitzhahara keeps us busy. And one of the biggest ways he keeps us busy with is with Chemez HaMomen. To try to accumulate and accumulate Shuritz HaMomen or it's an assignment. It keeps a person busy his whole life. And he holds the money. He tries to build the money. And he's busy with the money. And now, Baruch Hashem, we have smartphones that uh, have kosher ones. Obviously, we should use them for Torah and Mitzvahs. Like listening to Shurim. But this guy's busy all day texting and writing and emails and this. I can make another download. You have to realize there's a time for parasa, but there's a time for the to the tear. You're learning, you're davening, your phone is away, your phone is shut, you're not going to lose anything on it, nothing to worry about. You have to realize that the chemist moment can take over a person kindly on half the world. He didn't have a 40 by 100 lot in Bar Bar. He didn't have a 30 by 100, a 50 by 100. He had half the world, three continents. And yet he only gave some cheap flags. He just had a shem comes to him. He couldn't, he couldn't do it. Understand? Money can control a person, or a person can control the money. It's up to you. I'll just conclude 
Last line of the Pasha, the Mnoyach was Motzah Chen Bnei Hashem. Very slowly say, the Pasha starts out Pasha's Mnoyach, it starts out, the Mnoyach was a Tzadik, a Tomin. What's this act done before the Motzah Chen? Well, he said, right away, the Mnoyach was a Tzadik, the Mnoyach was a Tzadik, what does Chen come into the picture? And he says, so beautiful. He says, we find the Chmol Tzadik, where it says, in the Psalmach of Olakam, that there's a Chmol Tzadik, like a trend, like a, like, a, like, a, like a big, like Andrew Musi, the Mnoyach says, like a major catastrophe of Muslim, Sadiqim Chas Hashem can also be even first Chas Hashem. Mshas Gashpach is Mdaf Sadiqim Bukhot Asayr, Muslim, Shem Shem Tetos. So, Texas, I don't care if Nayak was a Tzadik and Tzadik, but with such a major flood, with such a major, and not just major, the whole world was wiped out, even if he was a Tzadik, what should he receive? You know what the answer is? Because when you have Chain, Hashem doesn't go and give you Tzadikis. It doesn't do with Tzadikis anymore. It doesn't do with Tzadikis. Why? Because when a person has chen, I like him. I want him to have him. You understand? The Havel of the Bells, just give you an example. In America, the president has a right to pardon somebody. Guy could be, guy could have done this wrong. He could have done that wrong. He could have even committed a murder from Muslim. The president feels he served enough time in prison. Time to go free. The guy goes free. What do you mean? The court said he's guilty. The court said he has to sit. The jury said he's sentenced to 48 years in prison. How can you just let him out after five years? Inside the pardon, I feel he can go free. That's called chen. It's chen in my eyes. I feel that's, that's fair. That's my, my decision. Of course, the president doesn't go like a court system. What the evidence, what this and that is. He says, you know what? Put everything aside. Let him out. That's it. Let him out. How many Hashem says, Noyach, you have chen in my eyes. I see you love me. I see you care about me. You're off the list. You're going to be saved with your family. That's that dog the whole parasha will show you. If you have chen in Hashem's eyes, it makes no difference. You know, even no matter if you don't have schus in Hashem, Hashem will take care of you anyway. You understand? And give it everyone anyway. How do you get chen? Good question, right? So the Gemara, Sech and the in the first part. Whoever learns Torah by night, chut shel chesed Moshe Chlapin. You have a chut of chesed, a chut of chen on yourself when you learn Torah. And Mar says also, by the end of Sukkot, whoever has your shemayim, whoever has chen, you know he has your shemayim. Mar the Pasuk says, well, I know if you have, if you're an honor, if you have chen, if you have your shemayim, you have chen, if you learn Torah, you have chen. You do return Hashem, and Hashem sees that you have chen for Hashem. You know, always been talking with people. Like, you know, get him back, get him back, Hashem. They seek him, seek them. No, 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 no. Let it go, let it ride. There's someone that, Hashem's name is on the line. Let's make Hashem look good. Let's be with Abdel. You show Chaim to Hashem, Hashem shows Chaim to you. And when he goes with Chaim, they ain't nothing to worry about. This doesn't go to Chosim anymore. You don't even have to have this Chosim. The person I'm saying, I'll tell you, I should have also. I don't, the guy, the, 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 what do you like about, I just like him. I just like her. She has a certain chain, like a charm. What do we call in English? A chain in my eyes. I have to try to be matzah chain, right? Koyim ar Hashem, matzah chain by midbar. Right? We found chain in Hashem's eyes. We left him in the midbar. Right? I'm sure they chayy chayy of halachah in Yisrael. Understand? You find chain. Make yourself ready for the chain of Hashem. So it should be safe to have it all in the of prayer.